is. That's kind of complicated. Let's just call it property stuff. Look at letter C, underwriting or creditworthy conditions. Let's call it applicant stuff. Remember the pre-approval where I said we're going to fully underwrite them even though they don't have a house yet? This, we're going to put another dot and connect some things together. All right, let's go to page 48. Here's your codes for the actions. They made the loan, they approved, not accepted, denied, withdrawn, et cetera. Made the loan, easy. We got a note. Auditors, check one, yes, yes, good, we're done. Two, not so easy. This is unique to Humda. This means they have met all of those applicant conditions that are defined as well as more, but back on page 47, the underwriting or credit worthy, it's the applicant stuff. Remember the pre-approvals are reported because we have fully underwritten them. Don't care about the house. Same thing here. We fully underwrote them. They're green-lighted. They're good to go. We call them approved, not conditional, fully. Make sure that that's understood. If that's the case, then anything that happens after that is not a withdrawal, not a denial, et cetera. Couldn't be a denial. You said you fully approve them. Let me show you an example here. Reg B has four buckets. Humda has five. There can be cases where you have a denial for Reg B and approved, not accepted for Humda. You might go, what? 